Uh-oh, we have the dreaded check engine light on my truck. Normally, this would be a problem. But today, and with technology, I'm going to show you how it's no longer a problem. And you don't have to be afraid of it. We are going to use this is an OBD2 diagnostics interface uh, by BAFX Products and it plugs directly into your OBD2 port which mine is located on the left side underneath the dash and this is just a plastic housing uh, with some electronics inside and we got some lights here on it to show that it's uh, syncing with the computer or the um, ECM on your vehicle. Now OBD2 only works for 1996 and newer vehicles so it will work on cars and trucks and everything up till 2017 uh, is using OBD2 and then in conjunction with this I'll be showing you the app that I use as well. So I have a Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, Android operating system. Um, this is the phone that I've had for two years now and I don't know if you can see but right there is an app and it's called Torque Pro and you can download this from the App Store. I don't know I assume it is um, Apple uh, iOS compliant as well. You just have to check the App Store and find out. So basically we're going to open this up and I've already preloaded the data for my truck. Um, you can put in all the specifications, the motor size, the weight of the truck, um, all that good stuff. And what you have is you got real-time information, fault codes, map view, a knock sensor, and this kind of spins around, test results, graphing, adapter status, and help. So right now it's looking for the adapter, which I don't have plugged in. But I'll go ahead and plug it in and show you what we have after that. Alright, so we are connected with the vehicle and through the uh, BAFX Products OBD2 uh, diagnostics interface. And it's syncing through Bluetooth at, the, at this section here. There's no wires, it's all wireless. And um, I'll just take you over here and show you. The interface is lighting up. Uh, lets me know that we have a connection. So, what I'm going to do is since we have a fault code... I'll tap on fault codes and it says tap here to scan so we'll scan and it'll take it a few seconds and it pops up our fault code it says current fault it is a P0101 powertrain mass or volume airflow circuit range uh, slash performance problem now I'm not a mechanic I don't know what that means I do know what a uh, mass flow sensor is I do know that so I'm going to click on that and it's going to say web lookup or close. So I want to look it up and see what that means. So it's going to open up my browser and using the data. And I'll zoom in here. And it's uh, for GM, which this is a Chevy Silverado. It is um, a MAF air sensor. Um, performance conditions uh, system voltage engine running PCM did not detect any math input for two seconds so um, I've known this uh, for a while now um, I just haven't had the time to replace the mass air sensor so I do know that I'll be picking up a mass air sensor in a week or so and the truck is fully drivable. There's no issues with it. It's not down on performance. What it is doing is it is hurting my gas mileage. My gas mileage has went from around 14 to 15 miles per gallon all the way down to 10 to 11. Sometimes I can squeak 12 out, but that's that's where it's hurting me at. So I'm going to back out of that and go back to the fault log. And right here on my menu, it's just three dots on the uh, Android system. I'm going to click on that, and I can click this top one. It's clear faults on ECU. So I will show you. 
we have the check engine light and I will hit clear faults on the ECU but I will put you up here so you can watch it go out so I'm gonna hit clear and it's giving me some are you sure you want to do this okay yes and boom it's instantly gone so it's going to take it a few seconds and it's just going to cycle everything on the ECM or the uh, ECU, whatever you want to call it. So now I'll bring it back. And as you can see, the fault log manager is clear. Now, that's not all this thing does. It does quite a bit. Like I said, it has a knock sensor. Um, if you think there's any problems going on, uh, you can see revs right there. If I start the truck up, it will show you the current revs in real time. Now, you can go and click on this one, which is real-time information. And, let's see, you can, you can kind of look through. It's got tons of information. Uh, this one is just revs at the top, max torque, intake temperature, and coolant temperature. So, you can see right now it's 77 degrees on the intake temperature. It's 188.6 on the coolant temperature. And my revs are up there. Now, if I take off and I drive, it'll start showing torque numbers. Going back, you can set all these pages up. Uh, there's two, three, four. There's seven pages that you can set up, and you can use them how you want. This one has horsepower, vacuum, and torque. Uh, this one is what I use uh, on my wife's vehicle. Um, this vacuum gauge actually is a boost gauge um, for she has a turbocharged vehicle. And I can check the horsepower and torque and how much boost it's running on her vehicle. So it's really neat. Um, it's really easy to use, very user friendly. If you want to add, you just touch and hold the screen and it says add display. Click on it and you have all these types of displays that you can choose from. So if you want analog, needle, digital, um, a square, a circle, whatever you want, a bar display, a graph, Anything you want is, is shown on there. I usually go with the dial meter. And everything in green is what I can chart or I can uh, look at. If it's not in green, I don't have access to it. My, my computer doesn't register it. And this varies from vehicle to vehicle. And we'll just go down through here. Engine load, engine RPM. There's fuel flow rate per hour, um, like gallons per hour, and here's fuel flow, flow rate per minute for gallons per minute. Uh, fuel remaining, the fuel trim bank, um, which a lot of the stuff you'll have to look up and see what it is. It's a lot of voltage numbers and percent values. Um, accuracy, OBD, OBD versus GPS speed difference air intake temperature, intake manifold pressure, mass air flow rate. So let's say, I, you know, I just had a thing on that. Looks like small. You just touch and move it and drag and drop it where you want it. So now this is recording my math. And if I rev it up, you see it's instant. It really is a neat app. Um, I think I can put links to the uh, BAFX products um, diagnostics interface. Uh, I got that off of Amazon. I think it was like twenty or twenty-five dollars, and then the app was probably somewhere around five to seven dollars. Um, and I got the pro version. There's a free version you can get for free, but I got the pro because I didn't want to deal with any of the advertisements that come up on it. So that's pretty much a quick overview and uh, show you. There's, like I said, there's tons of stuff on here that you can check out. And you can go to your vehicle profile. I've got the truck. I've got my wife's Nissan. Um, it's got weight in there. It's got the engine size. You can, you can store several cars in there. Um, the only car I don't have is my Honda Civic. I don't have it on there. And, uh, again, I mainly use it for fault codes. Uh, the reason why I bought this is when I was searching for a truck about a year ago, I thought, you know what, this will give me a pretty good, um, a pretty good 
like history of what's going on with the truck. I can kind of look at stuff when I'm test driving it. Uh, it will search for stored codes. So um, if they erased it, um, it'll show you the codes that used to be there. Um, it doesn't show it on all vehicles, but um, it shows it on a lot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's basically what I was looking for. You know, when you're looking for a truck, the used truck market is crap. It really is. And people are wanting so much money for really so little truck. But um, luckily I found a really good deal on mine. It was a one owner and um, there was no issues with it. I have a complete service history on this truck. And uh, that's the, you know, the benefit of buying from an older gentleman who took care of a, his truck and kept it in the garage. So this is the Torque Pro app. Really cool app. I suggest uh, everybody really get it. And then just hit quit on the menu there and you're all done. This thing just pulls out when you're done. I really suggest that everybody pick this up as well. There's several of them on the market. This is the only one I've ever tested and it works flawless and you saw it's instant. I mean there's like hardly any lag um, between the app and this running through Bluetooth. Alright guys, hope you have a great day and we will see you on the next video. All right guys, I figured I'd give you a little demonstration of driving and while it's in real time mode. Thanks for watching, guys.